Yo, welcome to WWE TV and the go home show for Hell in a Cell 2014 is tonight. So I'd expect to see a pretty damn good Raw and some big developments going into Hell in a Cell itself. Obviously we have Big Show versus Rusev confirmed for Hell in a Cell. We have AJ Lee versus Paige for the Divas Championship. I'd expect to see these two have some sort of verbal back and forth tonight. A beat down or perhaps even just skipping around the ring. But I'm looking forward to seeing these two wrestle on Sunday. Hopefully they're given a little bit more time um, to put on a good match. So Next we have Sheamus versus The Miz also for the United States Championship. And the most entertaining thing about this situation at the moment is Damian Mizdow. Week by week he gets better, he makes me laugh. So I mean I, I know pretty much he's given, been given shit jobs over the last six months to a year. But at least we're seeing him. That's one good thing to take away from this thing with uh, Damien Sandow is that we are seeing him. Uh, he's so entertaining and hopefully WWE are listening to the crowd because he's getting over. He's getting over people. Next we have Brie, Brie versus Nikki Bella on Sunday at Hell in a Cell and the loser must become the winner's personal assistant. Uh, quick prediction is that uh, Nikki Bella wins and Brie Bella is uh, Nikki's assistant. Going forth, I think that would be quite entertaining in a weird way. Uh, it just depends how WWE handle it, but I can see Nikki Bella winning that one on Sunday. Next, we have the match I'm looking forward to the most, so I'll touch on that next. Uh, John Cena versus Randy Orton. I was going to quickly get this one out of the way. Um, a match that we've never seen before, of course, we have 1,000 million times. Um, I I'm not, don't really care about this match. It hasn't really been much of a feud there at all and they've just been put inside Hell in a Cell. I just don't think WWE could think of anything else to do for a main event because they haven't got Brock Lesnar. So in their heads, John Cena versus Randy Orton is a good idea. But from the dirt sheets, Randy Orton really isn't happy about having to face John Cena yet again. And I don't think many people are either, but Anyway, I'm not looking forward to this match and don't really care about it. But the one I am really looking forward to is Dean Ambrose versus Seth Rollins inside Hell in a Cell. One, we've never seen these two inside Hell in a Cell. Two, we finally get to see these two in the ring, confined to that space around the ring, in the ring, and maybe even escape. Who knows? But we do know in their matches they've been really good. Um... I think these two are going to steal the show, absolutely. I think it's going to be pretty brutal. And from what I can hear, um, Raw will be having Hell in a Cell having, hanging over the ring tonight. So I'd imagine that would be for the build between Ambrose and Mullins. How they handle themselves in this match is another question. They've never been in a match like this before. They're experienced wrestlers. They're fantastic. They're two of the best in the company at the moment and to see how they handle wrestling inside the ring and using the structure itself would be quite interesting to see. Uh, obviously I doubt we're going to see anyone flying off the top of the cell because that just doesn't happen these days but I think these two can really come up to something entertaining here to put on for Sunday. Um, there's been rumours going around that because Brock Lesnar isn't on the show and we don't have our championship match or anything like that for the WWE title that WWE want to put on a couple of oh my god moments for the event. Now I reckon that that will be in this match here between Ambrose and Rollins. Uh, I think Ambrose will win this one personally. Uh, I, I mean I don't know what, I'm not going to try and guess what the oh my god moment will be but I'm just going to wait and see because I'm really looking forward to it and uh, you know let me know what you guys think and who's going to win each match, but I'm absolutely looking forward to this match the most. Ambrose versus Rollins, finally, in a pay-per-view match, once again, inside Hell in the Cell. So they will be building towards all these different matches on Raw tonight. I just hope for a good, good show again. The last couple of weeks have been really entertaining. So, you know, especially with Hell in the Cell hanging over the ring itself on Raw tonight as well, I think we could be in for a good one. Uh, Hulk Hogan has been confirmed for Raw and rumour has it 
uh, Ric Flair will also be involved in Raw. So we could be in for a treat tonight. And let me know what your thoughts and opinions are, guys. And I will see you all soon. Ciao for now.